Textile Concepts, over 40 years of high-technology specialty flooring solutions. In this video, we are going to look at a mostly fast motion installation of the Euroflex Easy ESD tile system. I'll slow it down occasionally and throw in some comments as needed. If you like unique flooring solutions and installation techniques, be sure to like and subscribe. Installations should begin with a clean and flat subfloor. Place the tiles inside the installation area. The tiles must be allowed to acclimate to the normal operating temperature of this area. During this acclimation phase, the tile boxes must be unstacked and spread out in a flat position. Every shipment of Euroflex Easy ESD interlocking tiles will come with a basic grounding kit. This kit contains a guide sheet for grounding to an AC electrical outlet and some copper grounding tape. In the description of this video, there is a link to this guide in a PDF format. Also, in this description, there is a link to another video that is specific to this grounding process. Now, let's get moving. Wall base can be installed directly over the grounding tape. Every installation requires at least two ground connections. See the PDF guide and video for more information on that. Measure your room and make your plan. Remember, you want your tile layout configuration to allow you to have at least half of a tile along the walls. It is a good idea to make yourself some starter row guide marks on the floor and install along those marks. In this case, he is starting from the center of the room, but you can start off of one of the walls if you like. The tiles are directional. Each tile should be installed in the same direction. Directional marks are located on the back of the tiles. Align the interlocking teeth on both ends of the tile before locking them together with the mallet. You should tap them together, working from one end to the other end. Don't start in the middle of the tiles. Lay all of the full tiles in the field area before you start measuring and cutting the tiles to go along the walls. Measure from the wall to the inside of the interlocking joint. Then, subtract about half an inch for the required expansion space. The expansion space will be covered by wall base. Installations require an expansion space along walls and other fixed objects. Layouts for large installations should take into consideration thermal differences within the area and provide appropriate expansion spaces as needed. The tiles can be cut to size using a standard tile cutter or with a standard utility knife and straight edge. Because the tiles visually blend together so well, tiles should be placed face down with the backing side up until ready to place and tap them into position. He is using his tapping block as a guide to help align the tiles to the ruler on the tile cutter. He took measurements for the edge pieces, except for the corners. He will measure and cut the corner pieces last. He wrote down his measurements and cut them all at the same time. He placed each cut piece where it will be positioned. Now he just works his way around the room, tapping them into position. Use flooring transitions that will allow space for expansion. Cut and install under door jams when possible. Check the description of this video for a link to a detailed installation guide specific to this system. 
At this point, he is ready to measure for the corner pieces. Each corner piece will require two cuts. Wall base should be installed to cover the required expansion space along the walls and other fixed objects. It is that easy. If you like unique flooring solutions and installation techniques, be sure to like and subscribe.